the salad days. Salad days are, are, are back. You got some pricing. Do you have labor? Do you have employees? Are, are you completely open or are you unable to provide the service you want to provide because of, of uh, the difficulty of, of hiring people? Staffing, Joe, is actually improving a bit uh, throughout the summer months. I mean, it's always been an issue in this industry. It was, it was an issue before COVID. Uh, in the depths of the pandemic, uh, unemployment was 50% in our industry. It's back to a little bit under 8%. It is becoming easier. And, and the travel demand this summer, as you've been reporting all, uh, all month long, has just been off the charts. It, is, it has really been an endless summer in so many ways. I mean, it was the best Memorial Day that we've ever seen. Equally impressive July 4th, and we're expecting the same for this weekend coming up uh, with uh, with really strong Labor Day travel, where 60% of Americans will be out on the road traveling. Inflation's impacting everyone uh, uh, across the board. So are, and prices, you've got some firmness here with, uh, I, I think there's pent up demand, people want to go places. Are you raising prices more than, than your input costs are, are rising? Jeff, are your margins being held up or, or affected negatively? Our, mar our margins are actually, it's remarkable, our margins are actually back above 2019 levels in the select service space here in the United States of America. Our franchisees had the best 2021 they've ever had from a margin standpoint. They think 2022 will be, will be even better. And yes, pricing is up, but really inflation adjusted. It's about where it was back in 2019. There is still a lot of opportunity from pricing. We're trying to give our franchisees, our small business owners, as the world's largest hotel franchising company, all the tools they need to make sure that they're competitively priced and they're raising their rates when they should be. When, uh, when I hear pent up demand, I think that there is pull forward, a pull forward uh, element to this, Jeff. How confident are you that the level of travel that we see right now um, isn't one off and that it will continue? Well, look, travel remains a top priority. There's so much research that so many of your guests have been talking about. Throughout the last few months, uh, MasterCard just put out its spending pulse survey, 18 consecutive months of year-on-year -year growth, July being one of the strongest months ever and up 30%. We think August will look about the same coming in. We know that the middle class, they're certainly earning more, they're spending more, they're not giving up on travel. One of the things that our franchisees are seeing across the nation is that people are willing to drive further. They're willing to get in their cars as they will this weekend and, and drive much further than they were back before this pandemic started. And, and there's also the impact that so many guests have been talking about, about how over 90 million Americans now have the opportunity to work remote at least part of the time. And so we're seeing our, our peak nights of growth year on year be Thursday and Sunday night which has really been driving, driving that, that, that average length of stay that's been increasing and we think will continue to into the, uh, into the fall and winter months. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.